So, okay, so you came here, you had these first few days to like set up things, start a job, you got some friends, they helped you figure it out, right? And it's been four and a half months, right? So when you compare the moment when you came, let's say the first few days, to the moment you are right now, today, what would be the change? What, what, what has changed oh, in the middle of it? <laughs> That's why I'm asking. I, know, I, know. Oh, you know, I don't know, I just guess. And, yes. I, and I see, I guess, well. Of course, the first days were hard, not only by the fact, because everything was new. Of course, new year, new job, new city, new country, new people around, everything. And uh, of course, it was like in the, a little bit uh, mentally hard from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Everything new, and uh, you feel alone. Sure. Uh, before you have your social network, you maybe feel alone because you have to like uh, manage things on your own. But slowly, you get to know people. Uh, you see that they can help you, and yeah. So it get it gets easier. And now it's yeah. As as said. Uh, uh, I was uh, back home uh, during the Easter holidays, and when I was uh, about to go back, I didn't feel like I'm going s- uh, no, from a. I, I felt like I'm going to my second home back, so it means I felt like I'm going to place. Oh, really? So you felt like Poland's your first home, and then you're going back to no, your real home? No, I, I mean, home. my first ho- home is back there because I arrived from there, but then I, when I was going back from there to here, I felt like I'm second going home. Second home, oh, yes. got it, got it, got it. So that's very good to be in the ranking in this <laughs> yeah, position. Yeah, so, yeah. So, what was your best experience so far? I mean, best interaction, conversation, best person? Actually, there have been many uh, small and bigger things, like um, also surprises, because before coming here, I, I didn't have any pre- prejudices because I didn't uh, know anyone from Poland, like uh, no person, and uh, I, I had never been here. But I uh, heard from people around me there, they were like, oh my god, are you going to Poland? Are you not scared? <laughs> Don't, don't don't walk around alone on streets and stuff. And <laughs> like I was like, why? What? And uh, and I arrived here and saw that it's a completely normal place and uh, not more dangerous than any other maybe city in Europe. So even actually even more safer at some points. So yeah, that was the good thing that um, I somehow probably broke the prejudices of the people who. Thought like this before I arrived here. So, so let, let's dig, dig deeper. So, what was your worst experience? Uh, was there any uh, unhappy uh, moment? Uh, apart from the fact that you were like stressed in the beginning and felt alone, which is natural, was there anything else that no? I <laughs> think that all the small uh, like uh, things that uh, you, that you are not like. Uh, like, let's say things that I wouldn't think about in, back there and here for example buying the card I didn't have a idea like mobile card I mean mm-hmm. I didn't have idea that the, this super micro card is something specific that you have to ask for so I got the usual so I had to use the scissors and make you mean the size yes. oh like the scissors so you don't have any difference uh, sorry? in your country there's like no difference uh, different in, uh, in my country you have uh, all the three types in one oh, here okay. I had, uh, had only those two so I have the smallest one so I had to use scissors and I was like, how oh, is it possible? <laughs> Why even? <laughs> so if, if this is the thing that comes to your mind when I ask about the worst experience, it means we are doing a pretty good job as the country, you know? Yeah, yeah. And the second thing was, uh, of course, like which made me most uh, stressed was about this electricity that it was turned off without any like uh, signs and stuff and it turned out it only was a mistake. Maybe there was a sign, but in Polish. And no, no, actually no, because all the bills were paid and it turned out it was a mistake made by company. So it was like, oh, but uh, they, they managed to fix it where it has because in the in that evening when it happened and um, my colleague uh, called them they said oh yeah it, uh, the, the bills have to be paid and it can take like a week or something to get it back I was like week without electricity because everything is on electricity yeah. water uh, heating everything and it was like oh my god but it turned out it was a mistake because uh, I was paying all the uh, all the like things to my to the owner of apartment and she made the payment but they didn't mm-hmm. register or something like that so the next day it was on so it was good <laughs> but uh, since that uh, yeah yeah actually yeah i think since that everything went pretty well <laughs> good 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 that's good to hear perfect so so i i think we haven't fully explored, explored this topic so when you went to all you know the, the governmental buildings and offices right so what was your experience with the you know public uh, officials uh, Actually, it was like that in uh, some of the first days, uh, we went together with one colleague 
And Polish colleague. He, yes, uh, because we were uh, like two foreigners who need to papers to be done. Mm -hmm. So we went there and uh, he just asked, was there someone who uh, spoke uh, English? They said not here, but somewhere in the center. And uh, he gave us the forms. Uh, but later we just agreed with my company that I will fill out uh, those forms. They helped me as well because they were in Polish and uh, sent them uh, uh, due to post. So yeah. I, I sent them, so I got back uh, my nick number. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Do you have, did you have any other experience with the government? Um, I was once stopped by police. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that was, uh, I was stopped for the first time when I was like 20 and you like made it within like four and a half months. That's respect. Oh, no, but it was gangster, so silly. Gangster, Don't trust these eyes. This is a gangster. Pemps the soul. That was the silly, very silly because it happened the same night when my electricity was turned <laughs> off. And I was so stressed, so I just arrived with my bike. Not even, not a car, but bike. And the street was completely empty. Gotcha. Uh, and I think I even... Somehow I was so pleased, but I was so stressed that I didn't think. And I crossed the street to the red light. And after oh. some uh, 500 meters, I was like, wee, wee. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. And that that uh, time, I thought, oh no, I'm I'm, good. I'm coming back home. I, ex exactly. I was like, oh my god, I will I will see how Polish jails are. <laughs> <laughs> but but thank God there was there were really good good poli uh, police uh, men. They uh, and they spoke English, oh, which I, it was uh, them? yes, yes, it was surprising. It was woman and a man and they yeah they asked me why I crossed the red light and, and said then you can say like I'm colorblind to this is what I would say because I am <laughs> no I, I said yeah I was really in hurry I have to fix one thing and they was they said like you can be in hurry but you have to stop when it's red I said I know I know so I showed my passport and they said don't do that next time and let me go he's like oh my god now I always stop when it's red light no matter what if it's cars or no I always stop so it was a good lesson <laughs> I have a very similar experience, to be honest, because I've been stopped like in my entire life, I would say five times, and I never got a ticket. And I'm not like, you know, this kind of a guy who can actually, you know, figure out a way to actually get away from the situation. They always felt like, you know, it wasn't too much of a big deal, and they just understood. So, I have a very similar experience with this, even though I spoke Polish to them, but well, <laughs> but still, it still works, no matter what the language is. Yeah. Good, perfect. Uh, so, so what, what do we, you know, the... the the most important thing you've learned, I mean, the best tip you would be able to give to the person who is, let's say, thinking like, should I come to Poland or not? Even though you already said so many things that some, I think that some viewers would say like, holy shit, like, I didn't know that it works like this. <laughs> and I, I hope they are going to be like positively surprised, but probably there's some more knowledge and experience you can share with, with us. So is what I'm asking. Uh, well, uh, I think that the most important thing is that uh, never uh, assume things. <laughs> Better ask someone, uh, don't assume things because they can uh, work uh, differently in, in, than in your country. That's the first tip. And uh, yeah, I think that the, 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 the best thing would be to find someone uh, like a social network or a, to, to create social network or, or find some persons who knows the system and who can suggest you things. It's like for me, it's like uh, about the company who, are, who I work for because they uh, uh, hire foreigners all the time and also colleagues and some people outside work and uh, I know that if I have some uh, things I'm not sure about I can always ask to one to another maybe someone knows someone uh, doesn't but uh, in the end usually someone knows someone has to say. So you, you, you said my employer and then so many good things that probably it would be good if you say the employer but I don't know if you can can you say who the employer is? Um, uh, <laughs> Let's check the contract that you signed I mean like you know actually, small letters. I, I say because um, uh, I know that um, some of my colleagues have published this uh, on Facebook so I think this, it's a um, uh, it's a uh, I think uh, also same company Vipro. Vipro? Yes. Vipro. So Vipro is good as far as you say. Yeah. I, I, I don't know Vipro but respect Vipro. Hashtag respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some, some, some. Somehow. Good. So, uh, if you compare, you know, people and the culture and the country itself, like very general things that come to your mind, like your country and this country, what would be the main difference? Uh, uh, yeah, that was the question I thought about a lot as, as well. Because so you uh, prepared for the interview? <laughs> no. Also in different context is when I uh, like talking with my friends and stuff because people are uh, quite. Um, Similar, but I think maybe more friendly and more open. Here, because or here, or yes, right. because we are more north, so we are more close. So, but here, yeah, people are quite open. Actually, I'm uh, pretty surprised because. Uh, 
in Latvia, usually people don't come to me on the street and don't ask things or in shops. Here, uh, quite often, people like uh, come to the street, ask me something. Uh, unfortunately, I don't understand. Maybe way or time or something. And I'm like, oh, sorry, sorry. And also in the shops, like showing me and ask something. And the, yeah, they are like more open to communicate in general. That's right. what I have observed. <laughs> so is there any bad thing that you observed about this country when it comes to people? Uh, well, maybe they can get very loud sometimes. Loud? Yeah, like... like What's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. But no, it's not like uh, to me, but uh, to like uh, together with each other. Yeah. And, like uh, forget that uh, uh, there are other people around and they get uh, loud. But uh, yeah, I, I got used to that. So that's not a big issue. <laughs> <laughs> you got used to the noise. <laughs> yes. 